EDIS has really great facilities to support the import of multiple file types, and it's got really great facilities for the export of multiple file types. If I go to my export menu here and choose print to file, notice there's a batch export option as well. I can stack up a lot of exports to be performed one after another. Useful if you are outputting the same project to multiple media. But if I choose print to file, this is going to bring up the export options. And now there's only a few options I really need to show you here. I'm just going to resize this window so you can see what's going on a bit better. Let's just avoid the edges of the squeezy interface there. I've got some recently used options. I've got defaults if I've set one. I can make my own presets. And under the all category, I've got all of these different formats. And what's really nice about the way EDIUS handles this media is that it makes proper versions. In some applications, for example, if you make a P2 media file, it doesn't include all of the metadata. It doesn't include quite exactly the right XML information. But with EDIUS, same thing with any kind of MXF or XDCAM, these higher-end formats, it really just works exactly as it should. What you'll get from EDIUS will be what you would get from a camera, which is really nice. Just to take an example, though, if I, for example, let's say I go for an AVI, maybe I'll go for a Canopus HQ. This is the Canopus codec that's included with EDIUS. It's a very good quality YUV native codec. And you'll notice that I don't have a huge amount of presets here. I can go in and change these options, but there's not a lot of presets available unless I turn on this tick box, Enable Conversion. If I turn that on, I get a lot more options. And this applies to all of the formats that you'll see, including toggling between NTSC and PAL. So you can have an NTSC project and have EDIUS output a perfectly good quality PAL version. It'll rescale the frames. It'll change the frame rate for you. I've got some pretty self-explanatory options here. I can export between the in and out marks I've put on the timeline. So the in point would be the beginning of the section I want. The out point would be the end. And I can display time code, which will burn in the time code. Now, with all of the options in EDIUS, when you see the choice to display time code, it's important to be aware that what EDIUS is talking about is burning in the time code. Time code is going to be there anyway as metadata. But if you tick this box, you'll actually have the image changed and you can't remove it. You could potentially fix it in post. You'd end up with a kind of blurry section of the video, but it's going to become part of the picture. I've also got the option here to specify standard 16-bit two-channel audio. That'd be 48 kilohertz 16-bit audio, just to simplify and standardize the output of the audio quality. If I just twirl down here the advanced options, and I don't know if I'm going to have room to show you all of this, but I can show you most of it. We've got options here to specify a specific video format, and there's a lot more options here than the presets. I can choose a different aspect ratio for my media. I can decide whether I'm going to letterbox or semi-squeeze or do an anamorphic adjustment of my image for this new aspect ratio, and I can change the frame rate. I've got all of these kinds of options, so I've got quite specific control if I go back to my Cannabis HQ format, I've got quite specific control of what media is going to be produced. And I'll just pull this off screen so I can click OK on it. I can now either export or export to a batch list. I'm going to choose export so you can see the save menu here. And I've got some specific settings which are down to the codec. Now this will vary depending on... Let's put this in a folder somewhere... This will vary depending on the codec that you've chosen. And in this case, I'm going for the Cannabis HQ standard. And this defines some specific settings to that codec. If you're using Windows Media Video or a QuickTime movie, whatever the format you choose, you'll get specific settings in this window. Click Save and EDIUS will get to work converting the file. Now, if instead I go back to my sequence and I choose Batch Export, I get a simple batch export list where I can create a new item and I get the same window again. So maybe I'll choose Canvas HQ standard, add to batch list, choose a location, test file will do for me, and it appears on the list. And I've even got the tick box here for whether I'm going to show time code or not. Now, when you batch export, it is a foreground process. So you can't set this off in coding and then go back to your edit and continue working. You're going to need to just let EDIUS get on with it.
In any case, it's a very efficient way of producing multiple formats from the same sequence. And that's exporting two files from inside of EDIUS.